Uh, the camera is shaking. It's so windy out there. It's already really windy. So this morning it was chilly and windy and those winds have substantially increased already at this hour and it's just going to continue to do so this afternoon. But we're dry. We're seeing mostly sunny skies and that'll continue for the remainder of today. But then we have some changes on the way as we head into the next several days and we are tracking some much needed rainfall. So right now at the gathering place, it's a sunny start to our Saturday. Temperatures currently coming in at 54 degrees. So it is a little bit cool. I might want to grab a jacket as you head out the door with winds very, very breezy at this hour of the south southeast sustained at 24 miles an hour with wind gusts already at 37 miles an hour, and that's just going to continue to increase. We can see wind gusts upwards of 45 miles an hour in some locations this afternoon. So we also have dry air in place. Our dew point is coming in at 40. So all across the state, we're seeing similar temperatures this morning in the upper 40s to low 50s. Looking at 54 here in the metro as well as Bartlesville, 55 in Coffeeville. 49 still in Muskogee and 52 in Oklahoma City. Now this afternoon we're going to warm up rather nicely to see afternoon highs and the low to mid 70s. So it'll be a really nice afternoon, but it'll be very breezy. That's the only downside to today. So this breezy conditions are going to continue as we head into the next several days. So for today, the winds are out of the south gusting upwards of 40 to 45 miles an hour in some locations, but then a strong cold front swings into the region on Sunday and it's going to switch our winds around. So they'll be out of the north for tomorrow but still pretty breezy and then we'll start to see those winds die down as we head into the beginning of the work week, but then when they will pick back up and be out of the south as we head into the middle to end of the work week. So we're just on a roller coaster ride in terms of our temperatures, our winds as well as our precipitation. Now this cold front that is swinging into the region tomorrow, it's a tricky one. So what's expected to happen is a temperature inversion for tomorrow. So we'll be warmer as we start the day and then as we end the day we will be cooler. So if you live north of Tulsa, it'll be chilly by midday 40 by the afternoon and evening. Now, if you live here in the metro, it'll be mild through about midday. 70s possible by lunchtime, and then we'll be in the 40s and 50s by the evening. And then if you live in southeastern Oklahoma, it'll take a little bit longer for that cold front to reach you guys. So it'll be mild to warm most of the day, and then we will have a cooler evening on the way for us. So walking through this in a little bit more detail, we can see this cold front is going to be up to the north of us around 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, and then it will start to surge south into our area. So behind the cold front, temperatures will be in the 40s, and we will still be in the 60s by around lunchtime. But then that cold front makes its way through Tulsa, and we will be in the 40s and 50s. A cool evening is on the way for us, and then finally it will make its way into southeast Oklahoma. So with this cold front comes the chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms. Now some of these storms could be on the slightly strong severe side for tomorrow, so we are going to watch that, but mainly just gusty winds as well as some hails possible, mainly in far southeastern Oklahoma, as well as portions of northwest Arkansas and central Arkansas for tomorrow evening. So as we extend our 8 to 14 day outlook for precipitation, unfortunately, even though we are going to see rainfall next week, we are going to go back to that dry trend and we are going to be drier than normal. And then as we look at our temperatures, we are going to be cooler than normal. So that's actually good for some folks that have wanted those cooler temperatures for it to start feeling more like fall. It is going to do that as we head into the tail end of the month of October. So for us, for lunchtime, we'll already be in the 60s and then we are going to continue to warm things up this afternoon to see a high of 74 this afternoon with very windy conditions. So make sure to be aware of that winds will be out of the south around 15 to 30 miles an hour, but those wind gusts, they'll be awfully breezy anywhere from 25 to 45 miles an hour. And by nine o'clock, we will be breezy still in 60s and we'll have fair skies on the way and then changes come into play tomorrow as that cold front makes its way into our region, bringing us a chance for showers and thunderstorms and then a low in chance to see some isolated showers and storms all throughout the week as well as our temperature roller coaster ride continues and we'll be in the 80s once again on Thursday. I know it's just weird to hear you talk about rain. It's it, been a while. It's much needed. We definitely know, need it. That's so. for sure. We'll still